Support provided by Walters Papion Thomas Cullins, LLC, specializing in business litigation and personal injury cases for over 40 years. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Well, I am extremely honored and privileged to be here this afternoon to talk to you about Baton Rouge Community College. But before I do that, um, I have members of my team sitting right here at this table, Baton Rouge Community College staff, and I also have uh, the chairman of our foundation board, Brian LaFleur. So just wanted to let you know that I have family in the house. So among family, there's also family. So we are celebrating our 20th year in existence. And guess what? We're going to celebrate it all year long. So August 20th, 1998, Baton Rouge Community College opened its doors. And the college was anticipating an enrollment of 700 students, but instead it had an enrollment of 1,800 students. It was one building, the Mid-City location, with 1,800 students. When I look back at the newspaper articles in 1998, what it said was, Baton Rouge Community College is bursting at its seams, 1,800 students. At that point, 20 years ago, the mission was solely one focus, and that was one of transfer. The mission was to transfer students from Baton Rouge Community College to LSU and Southern University. Well, 20 years later, that mission still remains the same, but it's with a twist. So not only is our mission to transfer, but we also have a workforce mission that we are very proud of. So with that being said, I'm going to go right into my PowerPoint. So I absolutely love this picture of this gentleman. His name is Leon Landry. He was 56 years old at the time of graduation. He obtained his associate's degree, and now he's enrolled at Southern University pursuing his bachelor's degree. This was his dream. Once he raised his kids, his dream was to go back to school. Baton Rouge Community College, um, we cater to a variety of students, the traditional and the non-traditional, and I'm going to get into that in a minute, but I just had to share the picture of Leon Landry. I mean, look at that smile. That it was like he, a tremendous accomplishment. Life-changing for him and his family. Who are we? So, okay, someone told me about the mic, so I'm probably too close. <laughs> he told me this would happen. So who are we? Many of you pass Baton Rouge Community College often. And you just think of it, oh, that's the community college uh, that's in Baton Rouge. But this is who we are. We are a comprehensive community college with a dual mission, workforce and transfer. We have over 70 programs of, of study, which range from registered nursing. Did you know we had a registered nursing program? Did you know that our, our nurses, when they graduate, they go on and some of them pursue their bachelors, but the majority of them, they stay, they live, and they work right here. We have allied health programs, business, technology, pre-engineering, process technology, welding, and electrical. We have over 34 articulation agreements in various programs with LSU, Southern, Southeastern, um, Our, Lady, Our, Lady of the, Our Lady University, Nickel State, McNeese, Northwestern. 100% of our faculty members have at least a master's, with over 30% having a PhD. That's just to show you the caliber of our instructors, just so that you will know fully who we are. All of our programs have advisory boards which drive our curriculum. They tell us what it is we need to instruct our students in so that we remain relevant. We are strengthening relationships with four-year four institutions by aligning our curriculum with theirs, partnering on grants. 
our instructors are participating in professional development activities with our four-year partners. Our goal is to stay relevant. We want to remain relevant as it relates to educational trends, technology, equipment, and our students, which I'm going to show you in a few. We are a part of the Louisiana Community and Technical College system. We are one of 12 community colleges. And this picture just shows you all of the colleges without, throughout Louisiana. Top 10 declared majors for fall 2018, nursing, general science, computer science, and welding. We have eight educational sites. My, have we grown from that one building, Mid-City Campus, to eight locations sprinkled throughout the Baton Rouge metropolitan area. We have our Mid-City Campus. We have Acadian, the Ardendale site, which houses our Automotive Training Center, as well as our Collision Center, our Central site, Frazier, Jackson, New Roads, and Port Allen. Coming online, well, it actually came online this semester, our Automotive Collision Center, which is um, a part of the Ardendale site. And the Acadian site, which is in North Baton Rouge, is getting a facelift. I'm going to go back to the previous slide so that you can see what it looks like now and what it will look like. So this is what it will look like. It's one, two, it's the second picture on the top. We are transforming that site. And through that transformation, <coughs> curriculum will be enhanced, additional programs and the like. It is going to be a game changer for that community. That's the word I use when I talk about the Acadian site. It's a game changer for North Baton Rouge. Our students. It's no surprise, at any community college or any university, the girls rule. 59% <laughs> female, 40% male. Enrollment by parish, and this is just based on our eight parish service area, but we also have students that come to us uh, from Denham Springs, from Lafayette, I talked to you earlier, earlier about relevance. So I mentioned that we want to stay relevant in terms of educational trends, curriculum, and our students. In this picture, disregard me, and don't think about the lady in the middle. She's actually the interim vice chancellor of academic and student affairs. But I want you to look at the, the, two, the, the two ladies, the one next to me and the one next to Laura Younger. The lady next to me is the mother. She's attending Baton Rouge Community College. And the lady next to Laura Younger, that's her daughter. And she's attending Baton Rouge Community College as well. So when I speak in terms of relevance, the way we communicate to her mother is completely different from the way we communicate to her daughter. And so we have to keep that in mind all the time when we are relating to our students because we serve the traditional student, those that come to us right out of high school, and we serve the non-traditional student. Those individuals who have worked, raised their family, and so now they are fulfilling their dream. So this is another picture that I'm very proud of because it speaks to the core of who and what we are and what we do. And look at the smile on the mother's face and even that of the daughter. And it wasn't about taking a picture with the chancellor. It was about getting in classes and enrolling in school. The average age of our students is 25 years old. Um, more than three quarters of BRCC students are under the age of 30. Enrollment. This fall, we have 8,000 students enrolled. Last spring, we had 7,000. In the summer, we had 3,000. Our enrollment is up. And we are extremely proud of that. We have definitely instituted um, 
plans and strategies to increase enrollment, but not only that, to increase retention. But we're not done. And this slide drives home to me why we're not done. For the six parish region in which we serve, 500, 2,000 working age population, 44% of them have a high school diploma or less. Our work is not done. That's a high number. So as a result, we have increased marketing <laughs> efforts. You may have begun to see signs about Baton Rouge Community College all over. We're on the radio, we're on billboards, we're everywhere. We're in schools, we're in churches, we're everywhere. Unique programs and partnerships. Baton Rouge Community College has an LSU transfer office. I mentioned to you earlier that last year, 2,500 students transferred from Baton Rouge Community College to four-year institutions. That partnership is key because they have an office and they have the LSU sign on the door and the LSU transfer advisor comes over two or three times a week and she meets with students. And she ensures that they are on track to complete BRCC and transfer seamlessly into LSU. And so when I say seamlessly, let me explain to you what I mean by that. They don't have to go to LSU and meet with the dean at LSU and decide what classes are going to be accepted and what classes are not. They do that right on BRCC's campus. They actually enroll in their classes at LSU right on BRCC's campus. That in and of itself is a game changer for our students. So many of our students come to us wanting to continue on. They want to continue on to our four-year partners. They want to go to LSU. They want to go to Southern University. So for me, it was really about making certain that that transition was a seamless one. NASA and Louisiana Space Consortium. BRCC is partnering with LSU. Um, and this is really to gain exposure to our STEM major, majors about NASA and the related STEM fields that exist, STEM careers that exist. BRCC and Southern University, uh, we entered into an articulation agreement to increase STEM graduates and individuals that articulate that go directly to, su to Southern University upon completion. We have a program for successful employment that I am very proud of. Um, in my bio, it didn't state what I did previously to my two decades of service in community college, but prior to that, I was a special education teacher. And um, that was over 20 years ago. So this program being housed at Baton Rouge Community College is very important to me and it's very dear to me. And what it really is, what it's really all about is assisting those individuals with what they need so that they can be successful in life. And we have partners that are working with us as, as it relates to um, employment opportunities and internships. So this is, a, this is a successful program that we are very proud of. Another program that we are extremely proud of, and I'm going to take the liberty because I have them sitting at the head table, Stephanie, uh, is the North Baton Rouge Industrial Training Initiative. This is one that was started maybe three or four years ago, definitely before my time, but I'm going to tell you it started with Exxon. And Exxon came to BRCC with a need. They could have gone to anyone, but they chose Baton Rouge Community College. Uh, and as a result, we've trained many individuals right in the North Baton Rouge area at that Acadian site that's being renovated. So if I have anybody in the room that you want to put your name on a wall, on a hall, <laughs> in a lab, talk to me after this meeting. But we are very proud of this program. Um, we're going to have uh, a graduation December 2018 and uh, 180 students. All right. Imagine what you can do days at BRCC. All right, so 
We have implemented what we call Imagine What You Can Do Days at Baton Rouge Community College. So many of our youth, they don't know what they don't know. They don't know what careers exist. So what we've done is we've partnered with East Baton Rouge School System and we have high school students come on the campus and they get to see programs such as sonography. They get to see programs such as pre-engineering. They get to see programs in computer science and the like. And so we are exposing them to fields that they may have had some clue about, but not really. And it's not about me or our team members standing up talking to them about those careers, but we'd like to have industry partners come in and talk to them, individuals that look like them, that, that are working in the field. As a result, 600 seniors attended last year. 469 of those students applied to BRCC, and we have welcomed them with open arms. So we are knocking away, chipping away at the number that I showed you of the individuals who do not, who only have a high school diploma and who are not going further. Online learning, this is important to add, to add because many of you don't think of community colleges in the online arena. Well, we are. Um, we have maybe 20% of our programs are fully online. Um, but we've increased our online um, space by 24%. Um, when we started, it was spring 2012, we only had 1.9% of our students even taking online classes. Now we're at the 24% mark. So these two young ladies that you see here are individuals who completed the process technology program. Women in process technology. Prior to graduation, they had already accepted jobs at major companies making very nice money. Go to transfer. As I mentioned to you, last year we transferred 2,500 2, individuals <coughs> went to our four-year partners. And this is a picture of graduation. On your far left, you see Dr. Lee. He is provost, I believe, and I, correct me if I'm not right, but he's provost at LSU. And so they participate in graduation with us, LSU and Southern University, and they award scholarships to students. So he's standing next to a young man who was awarded an LSU scholarship. Students served. We served 19,419 students last year. 19,419 individuals were served by Baton Rouge Community College. 11,000 on the credit side, 4,000 on the work, work, workforce side, and 3,918 on the adult basic education side. Those are individuals who are seeking their high set. They're, think, they're seeking um, they're seeking their GED. So this check went to the young lady in the middle from an individual who lost her son. Her son was a culinary student. And so every semester, we award uh, a culinary student with a, a way to pay for tuition, pay for supplies, as a result of this mother's loss. On the horizon, grand opening, collision center, September 19th, our visit. I want all of you to know, our SAC COC visit. That's our accreditation. Our on-site visit is going to occur October 23rd through 25th. So if you don't see me, that's why. <laughs> Chancellor's evening with the 10 tenors. You should have a card on the table related to that. And that concludes my presentation. Thank you. Any questions?
Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so from a tuition standpoint, our tuition is around $2,600 a, a, a semester. From a TOPS perspective, I'm probably going to have to get my finance person to answer that specifically because she's in the numbers day in and day out. Our TOPS numbers are not as high as you would expect them to be. I would say just on just a range, a percentage, may, maybe 3% of our students actually receive TOPS as you know it to be. Anyone else? I guess I did a great job. <laughs> Thank you. Support provided by Walters Papillon Thomas Collins LLC, specializing in business litigation and personal injury cases for over 40 years.